So what is vitality? The vitality sphere, the root chakra. What are the benefits, the health and wellness benefits of the vitality sphere that are going to change your life? Coming up in this video. So the vitality sphere, the also known as the root chakra, the first of the seven chakras, is located right here, down there, down there. And uh, when I looked it up in the dictionary, vitality means vitality also known as physical strength or mental vigor, the capacity for survival or for the continuation of a meaningful or purposeful existence, the power to live and grow, vital force or principle. So the, uh, the root chakra, the vitality sphere, is located down there at the bottom of your spine there, and it is the first sphere in the human evolution to become I'm Superman. To become that God that we're all rightfully deserve to be. It is also the last sphere in the animal kingdom, the animal evolution. So, in the animals, the sphere is in, at the top of their head, where there is for us, it's at the bottom of our spine. So, the animals can only go up to the vitality sphere and the root chakra or muladhara is traditionally associated with the base of the spine not the head this chakra is thought to govern survival instincts and grounding among other things as for animals some practitioners of holistic and energy healing do believe that animals have chakras although there is not scientific evidence to support this claim the alignment and position of these chakras can vary based on the type and shape of the animal but typically they are thought to align in a similar way to human chakras. So the vitality sphere, you know, bestows health and wellness throughout our lives onto our body and also acts as a powerful generator that will, you know, start to snowball uh, <laughs> All the, uh... There might be some alternative beliefs or interpretations, but they're not mainstream and lack scientific evidence. It's important to remember that the concept of chakras, while significant in certain spiritual and philosophical contexts, does not have empirical support in the field of biology or medicine. Chakras are not recognized by modern science as real. Physical entities and the ways they are interpreted can vary greatly among different belief systems and practices. Path. So there are also these psychic knots which one must uh, un unwind in order to move on. Yuri Divine and his spiritual power serve as a beacon of light, guiding us towards a more enlightened and spiritually connected existence. His journey and the manifestation of his spiritual power remind us of the profound depths of the human spirit and its potential to connect with the universe's mystifying forces. While Yuri is one individual, the spiritual power he harnesses transcends his singular identity, resonating universally and inviting us all to explore our own spiritual potential. As the animals are in the animal kingdom. So if I was to give an example, say, uh, uh, the animals will mate during the spring. Every year they will go and mate during the spring. During the spring every year they will have the mating season festing season but uh, as humans we can mate whenever we damn well please we don't have to wait until the spring we can do it in the winter the summer the autumn or the spring we can do it day day or night it doesn't really matter it's worth noting that while humans are subject to the laws of nature we also have the unique capacity to understand manipulate and even defy some of these laws while our capacity to understand and manipulate nature is impressive, 
It also brings with it a responsibility to use these abilities wisely. To push the power from this point on. In order to evolve and become superhumans, become gods. So that is what the path of enlightenment is all about. So when, when the, the vitality sphere wakes up, because it's the first of the seven chakras, when the power starts to wake up, inside of the vitality sphere. It's like a lazy woman getting out of bed, so sometimes it might just wake up and then go back to sleep. I'm gonna wake up, go back to sleep. So it might do this several times and it might uh, wake up and go to the second sphere and then go back down you know, a few times and might do this, you know. Because it's a very, sort of a gentle, a sort of a intelligent, yet lazy at times as well. Ah, uh, this power, yes. In the ancient texts, the power is depicted as a serpent that's coiled three and a half times around the base of your spine, waiting to wake up. 